right, hello everyone. Hey, welcome back to an episode of Jay's Lock and Diary. I'm Jay and this is my garden. It is now the 4th of October. It's a Sunday and it's around about 11 o'clock. I uh, just want to say hello to everyone. I uh, hope you're all doing well out there and uh, welcome back. Uh, today, what we're going to sort out is we're going to go through some of the seeds. Uh, so I usually looking at my videos, I've been up all this week. Uh, I'm going to start going through these seeds and getting these uh, sorted out. Uh, you see what I mean? when you watch your videos because uh, we've got the grow room set up there's a couple of the things what I need to do down there get it all filed out and that's what I'm going to do today and then that's it we're going to hide the lights on and uh, see how it goes but like I say guys you see that later on uh, through the videos but like I say I've got some different stuff here I've got some spring onions uh, radishes I've got some uh, all round yeah all year round uh, oriental leaves uh, all year round lettuces all year round uh, cauliflowers the Boris, your beat to say sweet peas, managed to pick some pak So we're gonna get them set away. Uh, like I say, it's just a little experiment, see how they get on, nothing's lost. Uh, also, I've been told it's always best to have two, uh, the blueberry bush. Uh, don't know how true that is. Uh, we all have one what I got last year. Uh, it's done really well this year, obviously I haven't no fruit from it because it was only this size, but now it's absolutely massive. Uh, we'll have a look at that. Uh, I had to put a certain compost in it, I think it was high in acid or something like that. Can't remember the name of it now, but we're going to do the same with this one. I just need to pick the compost up and then we'll get that sorted out in a nice big container and that's going to go to the top of the garden where the fruit section is. And hopefully that gets nice and big next year and then the year after we'll, we'll get some fruit from it. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but like I say, guys, uh, I'm going to do some bits of uh, odd jobs. Like I say, I'm going to get that foiled out inside of there, the grow room. Uh, also, I'm going to scroll through these seeds and start sorting these seeds out and get them in trays so we can get them underneath the lights. Uh, I have managed to bring this in. Yeah, this is one of the little leak heads of the giant leaks. Uh, it's done really well. So I brought that, brought that inside of here because I was sitting inside the little pony tunnel. Uh, I can keep an eye on it. Uh, because I want to try and take some grass from that one. The rest I want to try and take some seed from. Uh, we'll see what happens. But like I say, guys, uh, I hope you enjoy what I put on and stuff like that. And I'll catch it at the end. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. Right, hello guys. Uh, welcome back. It is now Tuesday, the 29th of September. It's on about 5 o'clock, half 5. Just quickly pop up the garden because I'm going to be sowing some seeds. Uh, we'll to go for that in a minute. Uh, but I just want to say that my dad was up here earlier on this morning. Uh, he's managed to get rid of some of the rubbish and also he's managed to have a little fire and uh, burn some of the stuff that we don't need. He's jumped inside of that big shed there and he's gone and insulated the ceiling. Uh, the ceiling, the roof will be coming off. It's going to be coming off next day because we need a new roof. That roof is made out of fiberglass uh, to see through fiberglass. The old tenant must have had plans of growing stuff inside of that shed uh, just to let all the light in. Uh, but it's, we're not going to do that. So we're going, the roof's really in bad condition at the moment, it's uh, leaking and stuff like that, that's why I do a quick fix on it. Uh, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll stop the leak and we'll get it through the winter. And uh, we've got it all insulated inside just to keep the warmth in. It has went a bit dark inside of there, uh, with it being a, 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 like a light roof, you know, where the sun can get through. Uh, but it doesn't matter, it's going to get dark anyway, around about 3, 4 o'clock when I come to the garden and do stuff. Uh, so it's all insulated. We're picking up lights. We dad's managed to install some lights inside of there just to light the place up. Uh, but like I say, I'm more bothered about being nice and warm in there for me for when I come up on an air tea time and stuff like that. So I still crack on and do what I've got to do. Uh, so I'm not bothered. We'll just get plenty of light in there and then they will go on. And hopefully, if everything calms down with the COVID, I mean, we dad can work together and get that roof off and we'll get it sorted. Because it was meant to get sorted out uh, this year, but out all everything going on and stuff like that uh, we'll have to hold it back a little bit so fingers crossed uh, we can get something sorted uh, I hope those guys out there know that okay and stuff and uh, they're not struggling too much uh, but I would say it's, it's a bit of a nightmare at the moment isn't it uh, what can we do though we've just got to stick with the rules and stuff like that and uh, just keep our heads down I'm glad I got the garden because uh, I couldn't be sitting in the house 24 7 and stuff like that uh, so it's nice to have a garden just to do what i got to do and uh, take my mind off things. But however, we'll go back to what I'm going to be sowing. Uh, so last year, uh, we grew some onions. Well, we'll try to. Uh, the onions, what we got were the little pips. Uh, we got them and we'll, we'll, we'll try to grow them and that. Uh, we did get a couple of them, uh, but a lot of them rotted away because the ground and the conditions weren't right and that like that. Uh, so I, I thought, oh, I'm going to give it a shot and uh, grow them by seed. 
Yeah, so I thought I'd go and buy a pack of seed. So I've managed to pick myself some of the El Sacre onion seeds. So this was last year. So round about this time of, of uh, this time of the year last year, uh, I saw a couple of them. I saw about eight of them, nine of them, and they uh, they just sat in the pot and shed. And I just kept them in a little pot, so they didn't get massive. And out of that, they just stayed in a little pot. Eight of them, I think I had about eight of them, and they sat inside of the pot and shed. And then once we got through the winter and stuff like that, and they were ready to plant out. We're planting them out and we'll put them in the garden where I'm going to do the green manure. I hide the colour down, I hide some sharp sand and stuff out on there to just help with the drainage. And I put them in and we've got fantastic onions, absolutely fantastic. The only thing is, I didn't have enough, I only had eight, uh, but the onions were lovely, nice size. Uh, I felt like they were much better than growing the uh, pips, uh, so I'm going to do it again now. Now, it says on this packet, right, you can do it from March to April and then August. Uh, so I know I'm a little bit late, uh, but however, a lot of people set them off in December. So your leeks, your onions. Uh, so I'm going to do them. I'm just going to sow them. I've got, what have I got there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I've got 11 cups there. I've got 11 cups there full of sand. Uh, sorry, compost. And uh, like I say, last year I'd done them this round about the same time and I, I got fantastic onions. Uh, they just sat inside of that uh, pot and shed and you know, and then once the warm weather kicks in and I plant them out, uh, they grow fantastic. So if you look back with previous videos, uh, you beat to see them inside of the pot and shed over the winter and also you beat to see the little harvest what I got off them. Uh, I was well chuffed, absolutely well chuffed. From a tiny little seed, I was chuffed. So I'm going to do it again. And then what I do is, I think then in December, uh, I set some more away in December. So this is just a little experiment again to see how, how they get on. Uh, because I don't really want to miss out on them because they're quite good. And also what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do another one, two, three, four. We're doing our four of the Peter Glaze books. So that's the Peter Glaze books. So I've got two over here which I just potted up in the pine cups so I potted these up yesterday in the pine cups uh, so as you can see there the Peter Gray's books these were just a, a little just daft little tester to check for germination because I bought them off the internet and uh, I got them from uh, I'm sure it was a uh, giant veg and uh, they came and were spot on absolutely spot on so uh, I definitely recommend that uh, site and uh, I will be using it again because I'm looking at other stuff I want to do because they uh, I fancy doing a couple of cabbages or something like that, uh, but we'll look into that uh, in the other time next day. Uh, but it's more of the time we're just going to concentrate on the onions. And that's where I got them from, a uh, giant veg. And uh, fantastic. Straight away. I think uh, I, I think only set three away. And uh, one obviously failed, but it doesn't matter. And two fantastic ones, look how straight they are. Stunning. So I'm going to do another four more. Right, and then... I'm going to do another four more and then keep the rest of the seed uh, for next year. Maybe still some December, January time and then we'll see We'll see how they get on. Just in case anything happens to them. Like I say, there's no competition, no now. Uh, all I'm going to do is, is just grow them, see how big I can get them and maybe hopefully I can keep some back for uh, stock and some more seed. But like I say, I can get some more off that website because they, they were dead cheap. They're only like a five and then you pay, pay a package. Uh, so it was spot on, absolutely spot on. But uh, hopefully I can keep some... Uh, just do what I do with the leeks. I you know, just make them go to flower and stuff like that and they think that's cost and get some seed. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna crack over this, get some seeds dropped in. So all I'm gonna do is is just go around a little bit of water, let the water uh, run through, drop all the seeds in and they're just sit inside of here. And then uh, once I'm done, we'll quickly go and have a look and see what my dad's been up inside of that uh, shed, okay? So I'll give you two minutes and then we'll have a look inside of there. Right then guys, so I managed to get them uh, seeds set away. Uh, I'll spin these on and have a little quick look with that. Uh, but I'll show you this. This is the insulation stuff. What we have put in the roof. Uh, so it was two packets here when I took the garden on. Big sheets. Uh, so I don't know what I was going to use them for, but I'm going to use them for the roof inside of there. Just to keep everything, hopefully keeps everything cool in the summer. 
once I get the new roof on and stuff and then in the winter uh, I'll keep it nice and warm fingers crossed but what I'll do guys I'll spin these around and we'll have a little look of the seed what I've just gone and done just a quick little look and then we'll go and have a look and see what my dad's been up to okay so there you have it guys these are 11 uh, Elsa Craigs we'll see what pops up keep an eye on them look after them this is my own compost out of my uh, compost bins so it's a little bit feed in there because like I say these are just going to sit in here yeah, I'm not going to pot them on and out like that, they're just going to sit inside of there. If it gets too cold in here over the winter, I will transfer them out of here and I will put them inside of the potting shed where it's fast free. And then if we go over to here, yeah, I've got another four more sitting there. But they're the Peter Grace Brooks and there's the two I already got. Yeah, so what I do now guys is we'll quickly go into the shed and we'll have a quick little look. Right then guys, so we are in the shed. As you can see, he's gone and put the insulation along the roof. And then we're just holding it up by, he's wedged it right in like, so he's done good cuts. And then it's just that there, to hold, just to hold it in. But like I say, it's nice and airtight. Uh, like I say, this was a fiberglass roof. But the roof here is going to be getting replaced. Uh, so hopefully this just helps it over the winter and just protects it a little bit. Uh, that's where the, the leak was coming, but Thing as class, I was putting the sheeting along here. Yeah, I've done a nice, quick little fix. This is working fantastic. We're having no issues and all like that. It just stays nice and warm. Uh, it's great. It's absolutely great. So fingers crossed that I just take the chill off inside here over the winter. Uh, but like I say, guys, I will be getting a better one. That is just a little temporary one because uh, we're all going to be replacing the roof and things like that. Uh, but we're just trying to prepare ourselves as much as we can for over the winter. Uh, we're all going to get a lot more light put inside of here because at the moment of time we've just got stupid little things like this. Hello. Hello. Uh, but it does light it up. Uh, so we're just going to get more round and stuff like that. And uh, we'll get all nice and uh, light inside of here and ready for over the winter. Well, there we we'll, there we'll go. He's done really, really good. Uh, what I'll do is now we'll just go to the top of the garden and we'll have a quick look at the spring cabbages. Right then, guys, quick look at these. These are the spring cabbages. These are the uh, variety called April. Uh, these are just inside of this pony tunnel just to clean this ground up. Uh, a couple of them are getting attacked, as you can see there. Uh, the, the grit's not working the best off, but also the grit is stuck to there, so it looks like it has dragged itself through it. Uh, but we'll see, we'll just keep a close eye on them and hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, they grow, they get established and do the job I want them to do but that's just a quick little update on the cabbages they look okay, they look nice and green and that so apart from the, the, the slug and snail damage uh, they're doing okay Right then guys, quick update on these onions. As you can see, they are all starting to come through now, so they're looking quite good. Uh, like I say, the only concern is is the fruits. I don't want them to get too big, because uh, I don't want them to get damaged by snow, wind, whatever really. Uh, but we'll see, like I say, uh, I concentrate on the drainage more. I seem to be doing okay for drainage, and uh, we'll just keep an eye on them. And like I say, it's just not a test uh, to see how they get on. Uh, I know better next year, not the certain way far too early, if that's the case. Uh, same as with the garlic, we'll have a look at the garlic. As you can see with the garlic, these are starting to come through now. And that, it's basically the same. I uh, don't know if I set them away too early, but like I say, it's just a trial and error, and uh, we'll just see how they get on. Okay, so I'll meet you back in the greenhouse. Right then guys, uh, so that is round about it. Uh, I just wanted to pop the garden just so I can set some of these seeds away. Because like I say, I've done them last year and hopefully they work out well again this year for us. Uh, but I will be uh, setting some more away like December time, January time, you know. Uh, these are just a little mess around. Uh, also, I come to just check to make sure Dad was okay with the uh, roof and stuff like that. He's done fantastic, insulating, insulating all that roof out. Uh, that's great. It is going to be dark, like I say, inside of there, but I'm not bothered. I've got plenty of light in there. As long as it's warm, that's all I want, because like I say, once this cold weather kicks in, it gets goddamn cold, believe me. Uh, but however, we've got some plans going on inside of the grow room. I am building a little uh, wind turbine. Uh, I'm just looking at a bit and stuff like that. Uh, so fingers crossed we're going to get that set up over the winter as well. Uh, just to help to keep the batteries charged when the sun's not out for the solar panel. 
Uh, we're going to be sorting that out on the weekend, just running it off the solar panel, uh, getting the lights all sorted out, getting the grow, rest of the grow room uh, finished off. Pardon me. We're going to be clearing out the little trough where I've got the melons in. Uh, they've just gone to nothing now, so that's going to get cleared out. We're going to clean it down, put some new compost in, because I might do something there over the winter. I don't know, might have some uh, lettuces in or something like that. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Because uh, that's what I'm going to do underneath them, grow lights and all. I'm going to uh, just have a little mess around and uh, just see what I can grow underneath them. Uh, because if I don't do it, I'm not going to learn from it and I won't know. Uh, so I need to do it and see what things are going to fail and what things are going to work, uh, just so I can learn it. Uh, because if you don't do that, you're never ever going to learn it, you know. At the end of the day, it's all a bit of fun. Uh, the way I look at it is, just go for it. If you can pick some seeds up, set them away uh, if they grow they grow if they don't they don't uh, but that's how you're going to learn really you just got to get on with it and just give it a shot you know and then you know and then next day it'll get better for you and then so on and so on uh, but like i say guys that's what i've done is was to sort them seeds out check on that we've got the sort out of the green manure that's going to be happening at the end of the month uh my dad is starting to prepare the ground now he's, it looks like he's pulled out i just noticed that they it uh, looks like he's pulled out the Brussels sprouts, so they're being pulled out. He's holding on to the uh, sweet corn till the uh, till the weekend, because he's got some nice little cobs there, and he wants to keep them only little, but we dad wants to keep them, so if they do, you know, uh, they're not going to go to waste. So we dad's going to just wait till the weekend, he's going to harvest them, and then he's going to turn the ground over, and then hopefully Sunday, we'll start getting the, uh, the green manure down. I believe it's the mustard seeds. Uh, we will look in a bit again at the pack and then uh, we'll go through it all. I don't know that video. But like I say, guys, that's all about it for me for now. Uh, I'll need to go home and sort myself out. And uh, fingers crossed, I'm going to back up here tomorrow. Uh, just generally just check on things. That's all it is at the moment. Uh, like I say, I am looking at other seeds when I can start setting away. Uh, for over the winter, uh, ideally I like to do something inside of there over with grow lights and just see how they work. Uh, so I've got a better idea uh, for next day what I can do. Uh, but once again, cheers for watching and uh, hopefully I'll catch you tomorrow. Right, hello everyone. It is now uh, Thursday, it's around about 7 o'clock. Just a quick flying visit, uh, just quick look at the garden, see what sort of work my dad's been up to. Uh, he's managed to sort out the shed, uh, all the insulations up, uh, he's managed to get the pick some ply up and they uh, managed to get it all plied uh, i just need to get it all pinned in and get it all sorted uh, so that's looking really good uh, we did have some uh, rain and stuff and uh, it's been all dry in there so fingers crossed that's a little fix and it's uh, sort itself out to uh, till we get through the winter and hopefully fingers crossed next day we can get that uh, sorted also what he's gone and done is he's gone and harvested his uh, sweet corn just took the sweet corn away now uh, everything's been put out of that ground now so he's going to uh, prep that over the weekend get it all sorted and then hopefully fingers crossed we will get up there on the, the sunday and uh, we'll get the green manure all planted out ready for it to go over the winter so we can do a little test on that uh, ground just for the uh, green manure see what works uh, like i say i will be looking around getting some more uh, cows muck and stuff like that because i will be uh, feeding the other three beds uh, with that stuff but uh, and getting it lined and stuff you know so we'll, we'll go through that uh, next year and stuff uh, but at the meantime uh, we're going to do a little test with the green manure never done it before first ever time uh, so we're just going to go to the shop and see what see what it works like uh, because this year things have struggled in that ground because last year we had some spuds inside of there and then we'll put some uh, cauliflowers and stuff uh, so I has struggled uh, so we we'll definitely need to sort it out so fingers crossed that this will sort it out uh, we're going to be uh, pulling out the vines soon uh, and trying to hold off for the pumpkins because i don't want them for the kids for uh, halloween uh, but uh, we're going to be pulling them out soon and that's going to be with a new food section we're going to sort it all out just been up there and checked on the uh, spring cabbages in the pony tunnel they're looking spot on uh, they have been tacked a little bit but uh, i managed to sort some out i put some pellets down and uh, hopefully that stops it uh, like I say, it's just an experiment up there to see if it does anything to that ground because hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, I have some onions what I can put inside of there. Uh, I don't know if the condition is going to be right for it, uh, due to having holes in, in the tent and stuff like that. Uh, I just don't know. Uh, but we'll see. We're going to go with a shot. Uh, like I say, I am going to be getting a new pony tunnel. It's just throwing it out and find the time and just 
look for materials base and get it done. That's all. Uh, but I will eventually get a new one. Uh, like I say, we've got quite a bit there. I need to sort them delias out. I want to start lifting them uh, soon. Get them, well, get them chopped back uh, and then just leave them in for another couple more weeks before I lift the, lift the tube as. Uh, but the flower are nicely there because I have been going around deadheading them. Uh, so it's a shame to get them down, eh? but I need to get this pond sorted out so it's out there so it's all established inside because I've got some spring bulbs, what I want to be going through. Uh, also, just quickly set some cauliflowers away. Uh, these cauliflowers here are the all year round cauliflowers. Uh, I have tried to grow these uh, twice now. Uh, the plants got quite big and they get the cauliflowers on, but I kept them boating. Uh, the only ones where I got decent ones from was the ones where I've just done this year, which were the cheesy. Uh, but I'm going to give them a little bash and I'm going to try them out. I've got no idea where I'm going to be putting them yet, uh, but we'll see. I'll just keep them in pots and keep them going and I will get them planted out. No rush for them and out like that. Uh, I just want to see if I can just get uh, a cauliflower from one of them. Because like I say, this beautiful two the ten. The, the onions at the top of the garden, the Japanese onions and stuff, they're looking all right. Uh, they're starting to show themselves more and more now. All the garlic has uh, showed itself really quick. Uh, I don't know if that's normal or what, uh, but we'll keep an eye on it. Like I say, it's got that colour and all that. Uh, the only issue is when we get hit with strong winds and snow, if we do, you know, uh, it could damage the uh, plant, which I don't really want. Uh, we do want a really, really cold frost though, uh, because I believe that helps them split. Uh, I grew some last year and uh, we we'll harvest them this year and uh, they were only little uh, they were only little uh, but they did split uh, so fingers crossed uh, we'll get some nice uh, garlic off these ones uh, there were the uh, Casablanca got no show on the Elsa Craig uh, onions here and all like that uh, and also on the Peter Gray's books but uh, everything's looking alright I am starting to get rid of these peppers now and chopping them away now they're going to be going uh, the chilli plant what my dad's got up there He's taking them because he's letting them dry out because he's grinding them down. So he's doing that. This cucumber's just hanging around for a little bit longer. And then that's going to be bye bye. Uh, and then just a general clean up inside of here. But there we go, guys. Just a quick update. And uh, I hopefully I'll get up here over the weekend. Uh, I think we'll do some heavy rain and stuff like that. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what we can get on with. Uh, but I'll catch you then. Uh, thanks again for watching. And uh, cheers for now. Right then guys, just a quick update on this little bit of ground here. This is the ground that's going to get uh, green manure at. Uh, we're probably going to be doing around about Saturday to Sunday. Uh, we'll see what day is better because we'll do some rain. Uh, I'm going to rake it out again, give it a good rake. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're just going to hide the seeds all over the ground. And then I'll just give it a little light rake just to rake the seeds in. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll get the holes out and I'll just give it a little drink of water uh, but like i say this is going to be on the weekend and then what we're going to do is we're just going to see what it's like and just uh, compare it uh, from the green manure to the actual the cow manure or horse manure whatever we get because we'll be uh, doing these grounds again and also we'll be feeding this ground because this had uh, with potatoes in so this will be getting a good feed as well yeah we'll still need to go through this and get all this sorted out uh, we've got muscrow leaks and stuff like inside of there uh, but they're all right like I say, some of the ground's covered up uh, just to help with for digging over and stuff like that. But like I say, hopefully sad this under. Depending on the weather, uh, we're going to get that uh, green manure. Ad. Right then, guys, another job what I really want to get set up on the weekend uh, is this grow room. Uh, we're all going to get that window covered in. I am going to have some sort of sheeting over here where I can climb into. Uh, and also, as you can see here, we have got some 201 and what that, that's going to do is it's going to help me to just adjust to adjust the lights to where I want them so I have got it set quite low and all and there we have it uh, so that's quite low uh, I am going to get a couple of more strips I just need an uh, two more but we're going to see how these work like i say it's just a little trial and error and uh, a little tester but like i say guys i've got it all the way up, up to there and i can make it go higher and all because i just got a couple more put inside of there but this seems to be doing okay uh, like i say we'll probably get some uh, lettuces and stuff like that and say there i will try and grow some onions and anything there but hopefully this battery does the job full battery on there 
so it has been charging everything's linked up uh, it's, we'll just need to get it all set up now and just see see if it works uh, but like i say that's in our job tackle day so i can adjust them up and down uh, hopefully the weekend we'll get it finished off and we'll try and get some seeds set away and just to see see what it's like just a bit of fun once again that's a quick update on the crew room right hello everyone hey welcome back it is now saturday the third of october uh, it's hot over outside it's uh, pouring down a rain uh, it's freezing cold and it's all dark and dull uh, we are going to do some little odd jobs around the garden today i am going to go and sort out that grow room because i want that set up today and uh, just to see how it runs uh, fingers crossed it works out well for it uh, I have been up there a lot in the shop to go and pay with fees and stuff like that and also I have picked up some uh, seeds which we're going to be going through soon. I am in the uh, two minds of doing the green manure. Uh, I don't know if I should do it today or hold off a little bit because of the weather but then I'm thinking I could water them in. So we'll see, we'll see how I feel later on and then we'll have a little look at it in a bit. Uh, but that grow room there, we're going to get that all sorted out today, uh, get that crop all cleaned out and stuff and uh, hopefully we can get some seeds set away. I managed to pick myself some uh, sweet peas up just got some different ones, just like the look of them. Uh, also, we we'll managed to pick some uh, cauliflowers up. Uh, these are called a Boris F1. Uh, you can do these over winters, these ones. So, we're going to give them a little shot. That's how these turn out. Also, we we'll picked some uh, lettuces up, winter lettuces. Never grew them before. I'm going to give them a shot. They look quite alright, them ones, eh? And then also we're going to pick some salad leaves up, oriental salad leaves. Uh, so we're going to give these a bit of a bash. I know because these are all year around that. And uh, we'll see how these get on. Let's see how I grew these before. Uh, but it's all a bit of fun and we'll give them a little shot. So yeah, like I say, guys, absolutely miserable out there. Uh, we have got the heat that's set up inside of that shed at this moment of time. It's nice and dry inside of there and it's heating up nicely. Uh, just keep on hiding the coal in and uh, just keep it nice and warm. Uh, <coughs> just to do a little test on it. And to be honest with you, it seems to be doing spot on. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, what I'll do is go around the garden, have a little look and see what jobs we're going to be getting up to and then we'll start cracking on, okay? Right then, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you this. Uh, obviously, this is the membrane what I put over and uh, inside here is the grow room so like I say these are the LED uh, T5s uh, I have got little noggins there where I can drop them down and also we made that quite dark and all uh, as you can see we have got a timer on there and so that's all running up nicely just unplug it because I'm, I haven't gotten out under it at this moment of time so what we're going to do is like I say we're going to do a little check on it and uh, I'm going to hide some seeds underneath there and uh, we're going to let it run and uh, just see if it works okay so that's it there guys like I say I just got to turn the light off now it's nice and dark inside of there and uh, we'll give it a bit of a bash and see what it's like okay Right then guys, uh, back here in the greenhouse, uh, so what I'm going to do is on Sunday I'm going to come up, we're going to set some seeds away and we're going to hide them underneath them lights here and just see how they get on, uh, just to check the battery and make sure everything runs okay. Finger across it works out well, I am going to make a wind turbine and also I am going to acquire some more batteries. So all we're going to be setting away underneath here is we're going to try some radishes because they're quick growers and stuff, also the lettuce is what I showed you before, uh, we'll go through some of them, maybe just hide some onions underneath there, some spring onions. Uh, we'll go through it all tomorrow uh, but what I, what I am going to do is it is raining outside so I think I will take the opportunity and uh, we'll go out and we'll get the mustard seed set away so this is the green manure uh, what we need to do is we need to sprinkle these onto the ground as soon as these come up and they're ready to flower they get chopped back and then you just let them wilt onto the ground let them wilt for a couple of weeks and then they dig them in and hopefully it sorts out the ground and give them a good feed so what we do now is we go to the top of the garden Yesterday is raining and uh, we'll have a quick look at the ground and then we'll have an idea of how I'm going to do it, okay? Right guys, so this is the ground I'm going to be green when you are in. Uh, so, they're just little mustard seeds. Uh, it covers around about 25 square metres for more than enough. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these thrown out and just let them sit on top, 
probably get the rake, just rake them a little bit uh, in case any birds start coming down for them. I don't know. Uh, but we'll get them all put on and get them sorted out. And then we'll go into the pony tunnel and have a look at the spring cabbages. So I'm going to crack on with that now, okay? Right then, guys, uh, quickly inside of this pony tunnel. Uh, as you can see, all these spring cabbages are looking fantastic. I did have to put some slug petals down, uh, but however, it'd be fine inside of here. It's just to protect them a little bit from the slug, because as you can see, the yard one has been attacked by the slugs or snails. Uh, these have just been fed with some water. Uh, I am going to give these a bit of a nettle feed and all, uh, but we're going to be doing that tomorrow. It's just to help them out, just to give them that little bit of feed and a little bit of a boost. Uh, but like I say, these are just going to be clearing the ground inside of here, uh, ready for next year. Because like I say, fingers crossed, I'm hoping to do the onions inside of here. And then maybe along here, some uh, chilies and peppers. Uh, but there we go guys. That's them um, there, they're doing fantastic. And that variety there is called April. And it's a spring cabbage. Right, and guys, here uh, that's around about it. Like I say, it's absolutely miserable out there. Uh, it's not a lot we can do. I managed to get that there room as set up as best as I can. Uh, I will insulate it out with a little bit more bubble wrap uh, as soon as I get some colder, some more, uh, especially when it starts getting a bit cold. Uh, that's the green manure out. Uh, just spread it all over. See what comes from that. It, it is the mustard seeds, uh, so fingers crossed, it works out well for it, and we could do a little uh, test on it just to compare it between the normal manure, cow manure or horse manure, to the green manure. Uh, like I say, nothing's really grown well in that bit of plot, so we'll definitely need to check it and see if it has worked out well for it. We'll be back with you tomorrow, like I say, even though it is going to be rain and stuff like that, but I want to do this green room now, grow room now, sorry, so. We'll go through these seeds and have a look what other seeds I've got lying around uh, just to see what we can get uh, set up and start it off. Uh, but like I say guys, that's round about it for the day and like I say I'll be back with you tomorrow. So once again, cheers for watching and I'll catch you then, okay? Right then guys, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the oriental mix. Salad leaves is going to be going into this bigger tray. So these are all year round. About 200 seeds it says, I'm not going to use all 200, I don't think I will anyway, we'll see. I'm just sprinkling it all over. Maybe a bit of topsoil. And then pat it down. And there you have it. That there is one done. And that is the Oriental salad. It just needs to be watered. And uh, now we'll have a look at the next one. Right and guys, the next one is these lettuces. Uh, so this is approximately 1,400 seeds. <coughs> These are all year round as well. Like I say guys, it's just a little experiment, see how they get on, one of these lights. So there you have it, that's that one done. Right then, so some uh, spring onions. 
throw these in the little tray, see how they get on inside of here, and just let them be. So that's the spring onions done. Right, we're gonna put some French radishes in. Just because these are quick growers and stuff, so we'll just give them a shot, see what happens. So there we go, that's the French radish done. Uh, so what we need to do now is we're gonna do some pak cho and then we're gonna do some cauliflowers because uh, obviously I might put some of these inside the trough in, not the cauliflower, but the pak cho might do inside the trough once I clean it up, once the melons come out. And then what we're gonna do with these is, I'll just put these in these pots and these are sit inside of these pots. So. We'll do the pack chore next. See, so set this away in September, doesn't really matter. Just a bit of experiment, bit of fun. Because no doubt I will have to thin these out and prick these out. But what I'll do is we'll put them underneath the lights, see how they get on underneath the lights, and then we'll get the the bed sorted way we've got the melons I can put them inside of there because a nice trough I just need to clean it out so there you have it that is the pack chaw sorted. Now we're going to go for the cauliflower. Right guys, uh, cauliflowers. Uh, yeah, we don't get many seeds in there like. Jesus. Probably about 10. Right, I see we'll be pricking these out and then find a little spot around the garden to put these. So there we go, uh, that is the cauliflower sorted. Now we're gonna do the sweet peas. Right then guys, sweet peas, as you can see there. Nice colors, hardy. Box me 20 seeds in each pack. Can't beat some sweet peas. They smell absolutely amazing, they really do. You just gotta watch out for the mice, because the mice will dig these up and the mice will eat them.
Don't need to set them all away, just need a couple. That one sorted. Mixed stripe, this one looks alright, I like them ones. Nice colour. Try and spread them out if you can. It's better. And there we go. So there you go, guys. All I've got to do now is just get these uh, name tag and uh, give them a bit of drinking water. And then I'm going to get the foil on around the great grow room and then we'll get them light switched on and then we'll just see what they're like. If it doesn't work, I'll pull them out and then we'll just put them inside of here and just let them be and then we'll get them planted out wherever we need to put them. Uh, but fingers crossed it works out well for us. Uh, but there we go guys, that's some more seeds there set away. Right then guys, so there you have it. Uh, my first hour at the grow room, uh, finger cross it works out well. Like I say, that's like some sort of foil stuff uh, just for help to, help to reflect the light. And uh, we're just going to leave it on the timer now. We're doing uh, 12 hours a day uh, just to see how they get on. Never done them before, all new to it, uh, but this is how we're going to learn. So let's see how it gets on. And like I say, I keep on giving you uh, weekly updates. But once again, that is my grow room. Right then, guys, I'll quickly show you this. So this is the blueberry bush shrub. This is what I bought last year. The plant was the same size as what we've just seen at the beginning of the video. Uh, but yeah, there we go. It's a nice size. It's done really well this year. Got loads of growth on it and stuff like that. Uh, I don't believe in that. You cut them back and all like that. I just want to let it be. And then what I'm going to do is it's going to be going at the top of the garden uh, where the squashes are because that's going to be when you fruit section. Uh, it's in a big tub like this. And all I'm going to do is, I'm going to do exactly the same what I've done with this one, with the other one we've got inside of there. It's a special kind of compost what goes in there. I can't remember the name of it now, uh, but once I get the compost, we'll have a little look. Uh, but like I say this year, hopefully I'll get some nice berries from them next year. But yeah, all the food sections getting changed around from here. It's not enough room in there. It's not right, and it's, it's going to go up there. Uh, but there we go, guys. That, that's it there. Uh, nice size. It's done really well. Right then guys, uh, that is around about it, another end to another week. Uh, as you saw there, we just managed to do some bits and bobs. It's just generally cleaning up the garden. Uh, we managed to set some seeds away, ready for that grow room there. That's all set up now. It's no messing around with it now. It's in, it's done, it's set up. We're just going to let it go and let it run. Uh, I spoke with Dad on the phone. He's going to come to me out tomorrow morning and he's going to check it and make sure it's okay. I set the timer from 6 till 6, uh, so we'll get a good uh, 12 hours. And then fingers crossed, see what happens. Like I say, it's all a mess around. Uh, it's all a bit of fun. Like I say, if I've got to get more batteries and stuff like that, I will. But I, this is where we're going to start. And then we'll just build from uh, from there, you know. Uh, the shed. Well, I managed to do with the shed. Uh, saw the roof and things. But it is still leaking a little bit. Uh, it's no good. We need to get that roof sorted out ASAP. I spoke with Dad again about it. Uh, and hopefully I'm going to get this roof sorted in the next couple of weeks. Uh, been looking at B&Q and all that for the chipboards and it's it's all right they're only about 16 quid a panel uh, I want about three to four boards so me and my dad's going to get that day job sorted out go half as uh, 
if the restrictions are still on with the COVID and all that, unfortunately we can't work together. I'm gonna have to tackle that roof by myself. I can't let my dad do it because he wouldn't know what he's doing. And I've got all the gear anyway, so I'd be to sort that roof out. It is gonna be a bit of a nightmare like uh, by myself, but because uh, I have to take that roof off and etc. But I need to do something with it because once this cold weather kicks in, it's gonna be no good. Uh, because like I say, it's gonna get dark, freezing, wet. Uh, damp inside of there and then when I finish work and stuff like that and coming up on a tea time uh, the condition is going to be no good so I want to tackle it now before all the cold weather starts kicking properly so hopefully in the next couple of weeks uh, I'm going to get that room sorted and the only reason why I'm waiting for a couple of weeks for is just to see if anything changes with this COVID if not I just have to do it myself like I say uh, but yeah we managed to get some seeds set away in that grow room that's all sorted out we managed to sort out the green manure down in the garden there uh, I just yesterday because I was pouring down in rain, I just sprinkled it all over and then today I went over with a rake and gave it a good rake in. So they're looking really, really good. Uh, the spring cabbages are looking spot on, so I'm happy with them. Uh, all the strawberry runners, the brand new strawberry runners, they're looking fantastic. Uh, we've got some food section to sort out. That's going to be going where the squashes are. I am going to be harvesting them soon and letting them store. So hopefully next weekend we'll get them harvested and let them store for a couple of weeks ready for Halloween because I'm going to use them for a the carving. And also the leek heads what I've got knocking around. A lot of them have got a lot of grass coming out of them. And I just checked on my main one before what's doing really, really well. And I noticed that some of them had like two little bulbs on one of them and they were just coming away. So I, I just nipped them away from the air flower head. And uh, where are they? There are they. And what I've gone and done is I've just gone and pushed them into that day, uh, into that pot, and just see if anything happens. Because with the leak heads, I think you've got to. I, I'm, I'm all learning it at the moment, so I'm all new to it. Uh, but you've got to chop the leak head away at a certain point, and then uh, you steep them in water and domestos, and uh, that helps the grass break away uh, from natural leak head, and then you scoop them out, and then you uh, you set them away, and that's what you get like the clones. Uh, but like I say, these were ready to come away anyway, so I just pulled them off and I managed to pull them off with the actual little bulb on the end of them. So it's just a little tester, so we're getting on. But like I say, I don't know how far or how long I need to wait uh, before I can do that. So I'm going to give it a couple more weeks, just keep cross eye on it, and I'm going to nip it away and then give it a shot because I've got a one here, which is looking fantastic, and I've got another three more and all to play with. So I've got like four or five of them all together. So there's plenty to play with uh, but like i say guys uh, that is round about it for this week uh, and hopefully you get up after tomorrow around about tea time just to check on this grow room fingers crossed everything works out well uh, because like i say uh, i definitely want to get into the big giant stuff and uh, i want to do it all properly on our grow lights i will look for better lights and all that sort of stuff but this is where we're going to start we're going to start somewhere where i can start from it test it and then we can develop from it uh, that's the plan anyway but like i say guys once again cheers for watching really really appreciate it uh, if you like what you see and stuff like that and uh, you're not subscribed please subscribe uh company channel uh, like i say this garden channel is for beginners because i'm, I'm a beginner uh, so you can ask anything you want and all that feel free uh, but uh, please subscribe if you like what you see and uh, also guys all you who have already subscribed cheers for watching thank you very much really appreciate it Appreciate all the comments, everything like that, all the likes, and uh, any advice you got, any tips on, on these leaks or out like that, because a shout, let us know anything on grow rooms, let us know, you know, I appreciate it all. And uh, I hope everyone's well and safe and stuff, and hopefully I'll catch you again at the end of next week. So once again, guys, cheers for now, and I'll catch you in a bit.